Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Roger Wicker, and this is my wife, Gail. We are filming this on this, the second day of September 2020, the 75th anniversary of the surrender of the Japanese Imperial government in Tokyo Harbor aboard the USS Missouri. Uh, this is an important day for our country. It, it um, amounted to the end of World War II, and also it, it uh, preserved freedom and democracy for our country and for many of our allies. Of course, now Japan is a, is an ally of ours. But uh, there were very tough times, and it's particularly meaningful to our family because uh, Gail's father, James Carl Long, was a member of the Navy uh, in the Pacific. We have pictures here of um, Mr. Long, who uh, in this family uh, we call Papa. He's here with Nan, who's uh, Gail McDaniel Long. They were married well before the war began. Um, Carl joined the Navy shortly after the bombing of Pearl Harbor and served in the Navy. We have um, some records here that uh, Gail might be able to tell you a little about. Well, one of the things that has survived through um, many years is his little precious diary. Um, and it's very poignant as you read through it, there are uh, accounts of his ship being in Tarawa at Lady Gulf, which was part of MacArthur's return to the Philippines. Um, and there's even an account of a kamikaze attack. He was manning his station on a bridge and, and could see the Japanese plane coming, and he really didn't know where it was going to hit. But as it turned out, it uh, hit a few hundred yards in front of their ship and didn't damage any ships. Um, our son, who was active duty Air Force and stationed in Okinawa for three years, did research on my dad's ship, which was the Monrovia, and it was there in uh, Okinawa, which was the last major battle, as I think I'm right, I'm no uh, historian, but it was uh, the huge last battle of the war in the Pacific. And from that point, the ships were going to start toward Japan for the invasion. His, his ship was actually damaged and they had to return to port. My, we have some pictures, other pictures here. My mother and her sister, Grace, actually moved from Mississippi to California and taught out in California so that they could be close to their husbands, both of whom were in the Navy, in case their ships did come into port. We know that my daddy was in Japan uh, after the war. They were given a Japanese language guide and he has this dated from Yokohama, Japan, September 15th, 1945. So just a, a few days after the surrender, these are, um, this is currency that could be used um, by, the, um, by the, the military members after um, landing in Japan. It's, it says military currency, uh, Tenzin, uh, the Japanese government, five centavos. Uh, we wonder exactly how that worked, but apparently some preparation made by the American government for what would be the invasion. Here we have uh, a recognition journal given to um, the various uh, uh, servicemen up on board the Monrovia to uh, let them be able to identify the various types of aircraft. And here we have a coconut, an ancient coconut that's at least um, 75 years old or more. And it says um, on it, we think we've got the pronunciation right. It says, Ifante, New Hebrides Islands, November 12, 1943. Something that uh, Papa brought back from the war and we've had ever since. Now, uh, I think you have something when when the uh, when the ship had to return to Portland, Oregon. Uh, we're glad to to um, report that uh, Carl went to church, First Baptist Church, Portland, Oregon. And we we love seeing the songs. I worship the King. Um, open my eyes that I may see, and in the cross. This was from July first of nineteen forty five when they were back. Um, 
back at, uh, to have the, the ship repaired. Um, there's uh, not a lot of talk sometimes about uh, VJ Day or Victory in Japan Day, but Gail and I were, were going through this memorabilia a few nights ago, and it seemed to us that it was worthwhile uh, to bring it out, to point out the separation that this young couple um, suffered, the, um, the things they went through. We actually have letters here from Mrs. Long to, uh, to Papa and the diary uh, that, that he kept, um, the separation they had, the anxiety they had. But when it was all said and done, the Allies had won and uh, our way of life was, was preserved. We're just grateful to God for people like James Carl Long. And we're grateful that he was able to make it back um, and uh, resume his household here in Lee County, Mississippi and become the, <laughs> the daddy for this lady right here some years after he returned from the war. Um, a, a very important moment for us to recognize those people who fought so hard and he gave and risked so much and gave so much for their country.